All right, welcome back, everybody. Combat 2 by Compass Games, designed by Ross Mertel. We are in Mission 86. I restarted it, so if things look different to you, that's why. Um, I had so many things that I had changed on my my um, the uh, module that I wanted to see, and um, I was messing up the vehicles. I was not. I didn't re didn't catch the note in the rules about changing the orders to a crawl when they hit a. a um, tree hex so i decided to start all over again and not much has changed except the it definitely did slow down the vehicles which i like to keep them more in line with the uh, infantry so we're, we're starting turn three now we're back to turn three i think i posted the first two videos and i'd already gotten up to turn four and i just i start turn four and i was like you know what we better just change this i did change my setup slightly i put two guys in every foxhole um i have um I did forget to put my flares out though. Get one die six flares. No, one die one die three flares. So I'll get two flares. Get one die three. I'll double check that. I rolled a three for it anyway. Um I know it says somewhere. I think that's in the rules. I got rule books everywhere. It's <laughs> just rule books everywhere. Combat 2 is brutal. I mean, it's a great game, but there's rules everywhere. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around a lot of them. And um, so I do a lot of um, as you noticed, and missing things. And I'm not perfect. No, far, far from it. That might even be in the Combat 1 rules. Try to pull them up real quick too. So anyway, we're um, that slowed my vehicles down. I got some things in there. I turned on the um, my vehicles didn't have the moving going on, so I got that turned on. I got um, I put in the orders for fire and um, load ATs. Um, I fixed my initiative problem. Put the orders on top so it don't drive me nuts. The downfall of orders on top is if you let two guys stack on top of each other, you're going to have, like like this, like these are stacked on top of each other, your orders are going to be on top of them. So, uh, there's really no good answer to this, and um, I just don't like stacking my guys at all. I really, I'd really prefer to offset them. Once, once in a while, I slip up like that, and then they get... Um, I, I prefer to just do something stupid like that. Or, or if you really want to, you can go ahead and use the overrun down here and put them in there. But it's so fluid that I don't do that. I only do that when I've got guys uh, permanently staying in a hex. So this is the way I handle it. Of course, the downside to that is I get mixed up into which hex he's in. Is he in this one or is he in that one? Um, yeah, that's why, you know, it, it's there's no good answer to it. I don't know what to tell you. This is the way I do it. Just try to keep track of things. If you make a mistake, roll with it. Um, our our phase. I was able to plan again. The guy did not get the uh, plan, so that was a wasted turn. Not a, I'm not going to say a wasted turn for him. We did get planned the first time. It was a wasted turn for him. Then in that, in that um, he didn't get it. But um, I think. I'm not too concerned yet with initiative, so I'm going to go ahead and play this one and wait for the friendly event table one more turn, I think. I'm going to use that card. Now, my orders are pretty simple. Once again, we're going to go with a plan order for him. And this guy's going to be on a fire order. And this is what I'm talking about. His aim fire is going to be up there, so we've got to fix that now. Don't like stacks, but they're they're a necessary evil. I'll just do something stupid like that. It all works out in the end run. Um, these guys and for guys that are doing the same thing in a stack, I just go ahead and give them fire one one order for the stack. That makes it easy. These guys are and if they're if they have the sleeping order on them, then I know that they're not firing. That's all. These guys, oh shit, you know what, I did a load this last turn, I forgot to flip it over. 
Uh, so these guys are going to, I'm going to put them on fire AT orders right now. That'll put this guy on the load AT orders. Twitch. Yeah, he's my better one. He's going to have the fire AT. Okay. All right. And uh, this guy's still asleep with his Jeep. I, I moved that too because I had it down here in the trees and they're not allowed in trees. So I can't even do what I wanted to do there. So I put him out in the freaking open. Um, and then, of course, he's asleep in his Jeep. So uh, these guys are on fire orders. And these guys are on fire orders. Guys that are awake. And I'm going to pause this quick and go look up how many flares I get. I'll be right back. All right, that's one die three plus one. So I rolled a three that gives me three flares. Which I should have had out already. They'll get one there. I think one in the center and one on the right. You guys can cut them loose when they when they know that somebody's out there. So I'm gonna put them with the guys that are front and foremost. And one here on the right flank, something like that. All right, my orders are out. My initiative is set. We're up to them. Uh, I did need to order to roll for their uh, re reinforcements coming in eight. Yes, they get the reinforcements again. They will come in six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Once again, this drags just a little bit between the extension and everything. It just it has a slight drag to it. I may be losing my video card too. But don't worry, it does work. And um, so we can go ahead and get rid of their moves. And we can go ahead and assign them all bold. And we're going to head and roll them orders. And I should have done this where you guys aren't watching, so you didn't have to sit through this. Get the right rule, rule book out for this one. And there's just so many charts that you're definitely not putting all these charts into the game. It's just way too much charts. Uh, okay. First order is going to be a 1, which is going to be an evade 6. Ah. I'll take that out, clone that up. Oh boy, excuse me. We got a sprint, a sprint 5, which will turn to an evade 5. And of age six five. A sprint six five, which will be the exact same. And a one, which is an of age six. That's their orders. Now we start drawing for the uh for the uh, colors. Starting up top here with white. They didn't do shit last time. Some of them moved, not a whole lot. Uh, bold, and he is in. And they're not going to do a whole lot this time either. Everybody that's in cover is going to aim fire. But I cloned that. Hmm. A lot of these guys are going to be doing nothing again. Well, they had a pro promising start, but 
they haven't been drawing good cards lately, which is which is good for me. You're not going to hear me bitch about this. This guy's going to be an evade four or five. I'll take that out, and clone that too. The guy under him is going to get an evade four or five. And then this guy's down here in the cover. He's going to get the aimed fire. This guy's down here in the open. He's going to get the evade four or five. This guy's here in the open, I believe. Yes, he's going to get the evade four or five too. So about half of them. They're doing squad tactics. Half the squads advance and half the squads fire uh, covering. Uh, blue. In cover. Aimed fire. They're going to do the same thing. Should have left that aimed fire out, huh? Alright. And we got cover on both of these guys. And actually, everybody's going to be aimed fire in a blue this time, except the reinforcements that just came in. So that's not good for their attack. Think they're going to leave that out. Um, that'll bring up uh, white will be next. Uh, white's already gone red. And we got in cover again. Running gun 5 6, so they're going to be moving out. That's a good thing. Squad tactics. Some guys are moving, some guys are covering. Don't want everybody moving. Of course, I just cloned it again. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm falling apart. I am a train wreck some days, and it looks like the day's one of them days, or maybe a lot of days anymore. And in the open, we're going to be rapid fire, so this guy will get a rapid fire. We'll go ahead and clone that too. So, any red in cover is going to be running. Any red in the open is going to be rapid. <laughs> Guys are in the open, so they're going to be running. Nope, open's going to be rapid. Only running when it's going to be this guy then. Oh, yeah, that's going to that's going to quote good make things all kinds of crowded down there. That'll bring up yellow. Hopefully they get a good move order. Get some of these guys out of here. Aggressive in cover. I don't think it is. He's down here with him. Oh, he's in the open. Yeah, he's in the open one right there. I got three guys in that one. Uh, evade one six, which is a good thing. Well, somewhat. I'm just going to move him up into the cover first, but hey. We'll take whatever we can get. One six there. This guy's in cover. It's going to be a rapid fire on him. Guys in the open, this could be an evade. This guy's in cover, this could be a rapid. This guy's in the open, this could be an evade. That is it for their orders. Now we gotta do the vehicles. <laughs> Vehicle A will clear his orders out. His card's going to be 93. He's been getting some high ones there lately. 93 for his orders is going to be vehicle A and vehicle B. Start with the commander. They've got no targets still. And he is unbuttoned. 
Yeah, it's still going to be a spot with him. Buttoned up will be the highest spot for loader. Gunner's going to be a rapid fire. Co-driver's going to be a rapid fire. And the driver will be no no target buttoned up. And that's going to go up to I say his card was 93, 93, 113. Fast five, which he can't go fast, so that's going to be a full through five. That's only going to last a turn or so, because he's going to go down to uh, crawl when he hits them trees. All right, and B, here are his old orders. B's card will be. B, 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 B. Eleven. Yeah, that's a low one. I haven't had a low one on tanks before. <laughs> Commander's order. Eleven plus twenty for being bold. It's going to meet the thirty-one. Not buttoned up. Open. Thirty-one is going to be... There's another uh, error there. No, no, it isn't. 1 to 35. That's correct. Button up. He's going to go ahead and button up. All right. Um, the loader, 31. Yes, 31. He is buttoned up. Going to be load AP or HE. We've already got load HE in here, but we'll put it in just in case. So if he does fire, we can do something about that. The gunner is going to be 31. He's buttoned up. That's going to be spot. And the co-driver 31 is also going to be spot. They're not going to try to not not going to try to fire or anything. Um, and the driver 31 will be spot and halt. So they're just going to stop right where they're at. He's going to have spot orders. on. All right, now we get to sit off the track. And um, roll the turn. Like I said, things will be different because I, uh, like I said, I restarted it. Most everything, I just redid the whole thing because I didn't. I wanted to get my changes in. The whole purpose of this right now is to make sure that my module is ready to be sent out for testing. Um, 11 looks like the best. So tank B. It's first, first crack at initiative. Brings up Abel. Not to watch for now. Then we got yellow and then Charlie. Then we have white and then blue. Baker. Red, and then Panzer A. That's the other thing that's driving me nuts, that not working properly. Actually, that was a, when I was copying, re duplicating the commands on the uh, dynamic property, I forgot to change it from a control 8 to a control 9, so that's why it didn't show up. Easy fix, but I wanted that in there. And I wanted the movement trails on, and I wanted the orders up top because that drives me nuts. All right, so we're starting uh, impulse number one then. Panzer B goes first. Panzer B is on 
spot orders. They're just going to sit here, down below the hill, wait for the infantry to catch up, and they can't see anything. Remembering it is night, and we got a five hex radius that we that we can see in, and that is it. Abel's going to go. Not doing anything with Abel. Um, he's planning. The other guys are all in fire on re re basically reactive only. Those that aren't asleep. This guy's going to evade one. Ah, I hate it when that happens. Don't like it, don't like it, don't like it. I'll put him there like that. That's a little better. This guy's an evade six. He's going to come down here. Rapid fire, evade one. Ah, oh, I went the wrong direction anyway. All that, and I was wrong. He would have come down here and clogged this hex up. For some reason, I'm stuck on um, one being up. Most of, most of the scenarios you play, that's the case. Six is the same. This guy's going to come down here. That's it for yellow. Charlie, Charlie's doing nothing. There's still nobody in range to see. White, ain't fire. A lot of nothing going on with them. <laughs> yeah, that's why I hate it. His ain't fire got on there. This guy is actually moving, evading four or five. Four is actually going to be up. Boy, this is a cluster of fuck. He's going to go up here to where... Oh, good lord, Greg. He's going to go up here to where um, he just vacated. Look at that. <coughs> I hate it when they're all clogged up like this. Evade four is going to run him right up here to that hex, which is a mess. Evade four is going to get him up here. Evade four is going to put him up there. At least they're moving. Blue. Ain't fires. Ain't fires. Ain't fires. Blue's not doing much of anything. Evading five, he's gonna go into there. Evading six. Going down into there. Oh boy. Evading six, he's going down into there. Ain't fire on him. They're not going anywhere. Baker, nothing. Red. Gotta clear this mess up. Run and gun five. He's gonna come up into here. He's gonna follow. He's on rapid fire. There, red's in there. Rapid fire, rapid fire. This guy's running gun up to here. Panzer 4A. He is on forward orders. He goes one. Do that. Next turn, he's gonna slow up. He's also within the light. Unfortunately for us. Nobody can see him because of all the trees. We do hear him, though. That's going to be it for impulse number one. Impulse number two. Panzer 4B. He's just halting down below that rise. Doesn't want to go up above it yet. So they're going to do nothing. Able, nothing. Can't see anybody yet. Yellow. Rapid fire, rapid fire. This guy's an evade. There's six this time, which will put him there. This guy's an evade six right there. No yellow coming in. I forgot to move this red guy. He should have been down there. Um, I didn't turn their movement trails on. I may leave their movement trails off. Movement trails are two-edged sword. They make things good to see where you came from. But when you're doing shit like this, they just become messy. I did it more for the vehicles, but I may just turn that off. I may just leave the vehicles on. I usually don't use them. Charlie, we're checking the functionality. White, ain't fire, nothing. Fire, nothing, ain't fire, nothing. Evade, four, he's going to go to a five this time, which will put him there. Ain't fire, nothing. Evade, five, which will put him up here. Ah, damn it. Hate doing that. That's what I like to do. Evade 4-5 is going to put him up here. So possession of that one. He 
things going into there. Starting to spread them out a little bit. Blue. Lots of aimed fire going on. These guys down here evade five. This guy's going to be an evade five this turn. He's going to be an evade five this turn. Aimed fire down there. That's going to be it for blue. Baker. Nobody doing anything. Red. Running gun five six. He's going to come down into here. This guy's going to come down into here. Ah, I hate that. I'm just so used to mine where I didn't have to worry about it. It's driving me nuts. I just may turn that stack off. It is driving me absolutely nuts. But I know more people people will complain about it. My personal copy will probably have that turned off. Stacks make it clean. That's a good side of them. But man, I'm telling you what, they're a pain in the ass when they're doing stuff like that. All right, there's red right there. Don Panzer A. He's on the move. His orders are fa forward fast. He can only go this one hex. It's the trees. Four and more order goes off and he moves to a crawl five. And nobody, uh, nobody there can see anything still either. They're all covered by trees, so that's the end of Impulse 2. You hear them, just can't see them, and you know they're out there somewhere, so everybody except the ones sleeping are on alert. I have guys sleeping with an NCO. They got to they gotta hear a shot anyway. Um, okay. So we're going to go back to clearing all these out, get rid of our mess. Then we're going to go to Panzer 4B, who is just sitting here again, can't see anybody. Abel's doing nothing. Got the one guy planning. That doesn't make a difference. He, this guy's evade one. One is down. Goes to there. Evade one. Down there. Rapid fire nothing. Evade six. Goes to there. Evade one. Comes down to... Here, I believe we're going to play that by, we're going to say that's it. The downside of, do, of doing things this way. And um, I think that's it for yellow. Charlie, nothing. White. A lot of ain't fire going on with them. Evade. This time we're on four. Four is up. Bit of air. This guy is in that hex with him. He will go to here now. All right, that's it for them. Blue. A lot of aimed firing going on with these guys. Aimed fires, evade five, puts him up here. Yeah, that's a problem. I lost track of it. I think he was right there. They're in a single hex. I usually straighten them out. One more reason to get rid of that movement trail. Evade. We're on six this time. It's down here with him. Goes down here on his own. Baker, nothing. Red, six. Rapid fire, rapid fire. Running gun, five this time. You go up to here. Running gun, five. He's right there, so he's going to come up here into this mess. Let me do him first. He'll go up here. And I can put, oh god, I stacked up. Damn it, I hate that. Alright, he'll go right there like that. And that's it. What a mess. I, I, I love the gaggle fucks. And Panzer 4A, he's on, he's on orders to go straight ahead on 5. And he is now crawling. There'll only be one hex for him. 
coming up behind the building. Probably a smart move. He's got no infantry around yet. And then the lights right there. This guy's he's in the general area. I can move with that, but I can only sneak. And I got a plan on what move he's gonna make, and by the time I if I don't make the right move, he's gone. This time I can see one, two, four, or five. I can see up to here, so if he winds up in one of these hexes right here, I'll be able to take him out at long range. Well take him out. Shoot at him at long range with the bazooka. I don't have much confidence in them. Bazookas are shit. Um, Panzer 4B is just sitting there. Can't see anybody able not doing anything yellow. Rapid fire evade. We're on six this time. So he's going to come down into the air. This awful crowded hex right there. Doesn't evade six right to there. Rapid fire. Rapid fire evade. Six is coming down here, and he's coming down here. They're trying to get it catch up to the tank. Charlie doing nothing white. Ain't fire. Evade five. It's going to put him up here. Evade five. It's going to put him up here. Ah, I'm going to let it stack. Fuck it. Just don't like it. Evade five is going to put him up there. I can bring him over here now. All right, blue. Ain't fires, ain't fires, lots of ain't fires. This guy's in evade five, he'll come up to there. Evade six this time, it's going to bring him down here. Uh, eight six is going to bring him down to there. I'm going to leave him stack, I just don't care. Baker. Red. Running gun, we're on six this time, he's going to run to there. Gun six, going to run to there. Rapid fire, evade six. All right, that's going to be it for red. Panzer A, going to move one more hex in the direction of five. That, my friends, is going to be the end of turn number four, or three, rather. We'll go to turn number four. Set the impulse mark, close that down. Discard all the cards, because I tend to forget that if I don't. Um, we are checking for, let's go through the sequence on this one. Ah, not to give random events. That looks like the sequence chart I have. Uh, do the plans. If I had a plan on it, either four or less, we get a zero, so I'll get two cards as per his leadership. Put them over here. I ain't going to look at them yet. Um, smoke counters, none required. Waiting characters, nothing. Uh, remove all orders, reset the initiative track. We can get rid of all orders now. We reset the initiative track already. I can get rid of the move numbers too. We got rid of the, oh boy, undo. Whenever whenever you're using Vassal and you, you do something like a, a global command, make sure that you click somewhere on the map. Because if you don't, you go to do something else, you can, get, you can move all your your uh, markers. So that's what just happened there. I removed all my orders and every counter they were on top of was then selected and moved on me. Um. Enemy cards on the initiative track, we discarded. Our cards, we discarded. Reset the impulse marker, we did that. Um, next turn, return to step one. So we're good. Now, the only thing we didn't do, and it didn't specify up there, was these. we got to roll eight or nine, and they go away. Otherwise, they move with the wind. He doesn't go away, so he moves with the wind. This one here, eight or nine. Nine, that goes away, blinks out. That's in a good position, though. So it's definitely changed the thing, dynamic of this game a lot. Um, just three starting over. These guys are more clustered up. And the tanks are closer to them. This guy just completely stopped for that turn. This guy ought to. You don't want to go up there alone or he might be a smoking hulk. Smoking hulk. Oh, you know what else I forgot to do? Um, third impulse. 
I got so much in a hurry, he was supposed to button up on the third impulse. And we will go ahead and get rid of their orders now. So he is now buttoned up. He knows they're out there. He said, let me button up and then we're going to go forward. Which is smart because the last time I played this up to turn four, the guys got way ahead of them. And some of my guys took out, actually shot at both commanders. They took one down. Didn't kill him, but you don't need that kind of action with your tankers. I think we're ready to start turn number four then. I will end this video. All right, thanks for joining me. That is Combat 2 by Compass Games, designed by Ross Mortel. We are Mission 86 in Normandy.